105 is the number that comes to my head When I think of all the years I want to be with you Wake up every morning with you in my bed That's precisely what I plan to do And you know one of these days when I get my money We are gathered together here today to witness and celebrate an act of deep love. Gary and Mahogany, in their devotion, respect, and love for each other, wish to unite in the eternal bond of marriage and to dedicate themselves to each other's happiness and well-being as life mates and partners. On behalf of them, I welcome you all. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Okay. Can you take give you this? Take her left, her right hand, yep, and place it in Gary's left hand. Okay. Give her a little kiss on the cheek. All right. And then you can go stand over there. <laughs> All right. You guys will get centered up just a little bit. Okay. All right. Marriage is a promise of love. Marriage is a commitment to live to the best that two people can find and bring out in each other. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth no other human relationship can equal. A physical and emotional joining that is promised for a lifetime. Within the circle of its love, marriage encompasses all of life's most important relationships. A wife and her husband are each other's best friend, confidant, lover, teacher, listener, and critic. There may come times when one partner is heartbroken or ailing, and the love of the other may resemble the tender caring of a parent for a child. Marriage deepens and enriches every facet of life. Happiness is fuller, memories are fresher, commitment is stronger, even anger is felt more strongly and passes away more quickly. Marriage understands and forgives the mistakes life is unable to avoid. It encourages and nurtures new life, new experiences, and new ways of expressing love through the seasons of life. When two people pledge to love and care for each other in marriage, they create a spirit unique to themselves, which binds them closer than any spoken or written words. Marriage is a promise, a potential, 
made in the hearts of two people who love, which takes a lifetime to fulfill. And this was taken from a poem by Edmund O'Neill called Marriage is a Promise of Love. Marriage is a supreme sharing, perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure in the most intimate of human relationships. It is a joyful uniting of a man and a woman whose care and affection and understanding have flowered into a deep and abiding love. Those who take its sacred vows have their lives blended into one. Do you, Gary, take mahogany to be your lawfully wedded wife, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony, to love, honor, and comfort her, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep her only unto you as long as you both shall live? Do you, Mahogany, take Gary to be your lawfully wedded husband, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony, to love, honor, and comfort him, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep him only unto you, as long as you both shall live. <laughs> so repeat after me, Gary. I, Gary, take you mahogany to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. And there too, I pledge to you my loyalty. Very good. So Mahogany, repeat after me. I, Mahogany, take you, Gary, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, and there too I pledge to you my loyalty. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have Mahogany's ring. You'll place that on her left finger, just right up to her knuckle, and repeat after me. As this ring has no end, neither shall my love for you. I choose you to be my wife, now and forever. Mahogany, repeat after me. As this ring has no end, neither shall my love for you. I choose you to be my husband, now and forever. And now you shall feel no pain. For each of you shall be comfort to the other, and now you shall feel no rain, for each of you shall be shelter for the other, and now you shall feel no cold, for each of you shall be warmth for the other, and now there is no loneliness, for each of you will be as you are, two persons, but there is only one life before you. May your life together be good and long upon the earth. And now unto you, and to all who are present, may this blessing come upon you, that you will be in love, grow in love, stand in love, and act by love through the God of love, both now and forevermore. Amen.
Yeah. I'd like to read the love passage from 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. Love is patient. Love is blind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. Love is not easily angered. And love keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in truth. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Blessings upon you. Give one another new experiences of joy. Challenge one another so that you may grow. May the love you hold for each other, now seated in marriage, continue to mature through the passing years. May you never take each other for granted, but always experience the wonder of your union. May your life together be a source of strength and inspiration to yourselves, to your families, to your friends, and to all whose lives you touch. Inasmuch as Gary and Mahogany have this day consented together in marriage and have given and pledged their loyalty by virtue of the authority vested in me under the laws of South Carolina, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your lovely bride. <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, may I now introduce to you <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Gary Jordan. Forever could never be long enough for me. I feel like I've had long enough. Get the world now, we won't let them see But there's one thing left to do Now that the weight has lifted Love has surely shifted my way enough for me to feel like I am close enough to you you wear white and I wear out the words I love you and you're beautiful now that the wait is over love has finally showed her my way Man. 